Hallelujah. Sige po, bago muna. Tayo muna po tayo. Tayo muna tayo lahat. Amen? Grabe. Kayo po bang mga magkakasama o mga kakapamilya ay magkakatabi po ngayong oras ito? Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. Kay dami po natin. Tingin po kayo sa likod nyo. Grabe, oh. Tapos sabihin mo, magandang umaga sa iyo. Amen. Grabe. Grabe. Pasalamatan natin ang effort ng bawat isa na gumising ng umaga. Grabe po. Kami po, sa pamilya po namin, 3 a.m. Amen. Natulog na yata po ako, mga 1.30 a.m. <laughs> Because there is just a joy in my heart. Amen. Pinagpapray ko po ang aking kapatid na galing pa sa duty. Anong oras na kauwi si Dali, Mama? 11.33. So, syempre, she made the effort. Galing pa po siyang duty. Umuwi po ng tarlac. Grabe po. Amen. Ngayon, umagang po ito, bago po tayo mo po, gusto ko pong harapin niyo po ang kanyong, ano, anyong pamilya. Gather your family. Amen. Gather your family. And before we begin the message, I think God placed in my heart, um, we are supposed to practice the Lord's Supper today, but hindi po sila nakapag-prepare. Pero hindi po na natin ititigil to. Harapin niyo po yung pamilya niyo. And then, I want you to just say to one another, di ba? Sabi mo, nai, or... Sa aking, ano, sa aking uh, misis, kunyari po ganito. Bababa po ako para mas makita nyo. Ay. <laughs> Darling. Ayan. Ito ka. Alright. Ganito po. Uh, sa Israel po, kapag po Sabado or Shabbat, when they practice the Lord's Supper, before they practice the Lord's Supper and read God's Word, Amen. Nagaharapan po ang buong pamilya. Nag-uumpisa po sa misis. At ganito po yan. Ang una pong gagawin ng uh, as, uh, na lalaki, ang sasabihin, my wife o aking asawa, kung meron man ako nagawa sa iyo ngayong linggong ito, na nakasakit sa iyong puso. Amen. If I, of, I have offended you or I have hurt you this week or this morning, may you forgive me. Do you forgive me? Oh, And then yung wife din po, gagawin din po niya yun in return. Di ba? Ganun. Yeah, my darling, kung meron man akong uh, nagawang uh, it hurt you this week, um, I ask your forgiveness. Hallelujah. I forgive you. And then po, susunod po yun. Hanggang sa, ano, sa anak niyo. Sabi mo, my son, if I did anything in this uh, in this week that daddy hurt your heart, please forgive daddy, okay? Do you forgive daddy? Yes. Alright. My son, if daddy hurt you this week or offended you, forgive daddy, okay? <laughs> amen. Gawin po natin yun, amen. Let there be healing in the family, amen. Jesus has risen. If, if Jesus has risen, we cannot be bitter, Amen. If you have somebody here in this place that has hurt you or offended you, by all means, amen, let's approach them. Dito ang akin nanay, ma. If I have hurt you or offended you, I ask your forgiveness, mother. Do you forgive me? <laughs> My sister, if I have hurt you or offended you, please forgive me. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Something is happening. Amen. We will not allow the victory that is for Jesus belong to the devil. Amen. No, sabi mo. Di pwede. The victory belongs to Jesus and no one else. Amen. Hallelujah. Kahit sa ating pamilya, ang dapat magtagumpay ay si Jesus. Amen. Sa ating negosyo, ang dapat magtagumpay, hindi ako, hindi yung kaaway, kundi si Jesus, sabihin mo. Amen? Sa ating simbahan, 
Amen? Hindi dapat ang kalaban o tayo ang matagumpay, kundi si Jesus. Amen? And to all my fellow pastors here and to all of my, uh, church members, kayo po, dyan sa worship team, if I, have, if I did anything to offend you or hurt you, please forgive me. Amen? Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful morning. Thank you, Lord, that we greet this morning in celebration. Thank you, Lord, in thanksgiving for what you have done for us all. We thank you, Lord, and Lord, please open our hearts and open our minds as we receive your message to all of us this morning. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory and all the praise. Lord, now I pray that you release in the atmosphere right now love. Release love. Release joy. Release gladness. Release peace in Jesus' name. Let there be peace in the family. Peace in the hearts of all these people, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Let there be healing in the hearts of souls of our church in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. We we now welcome your presence in this place, O oh God, as you minister and speak to us all. We love you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. O bago po po tayo mupo, muli, kanina binati ninyo na medyo inaantok yung, mga, yung kapwa mo. Sa tingin ko ngayon na nakapag-release tayo ng pag-ibig sa bawat isa, mas mababati natin ang kapwa natin na magandang umaga. Amen? Sige nga, harapin nyo. Tignan nyo, iba na yung glow niya. No? Good morning! Sabi mo. Good morning! <laughs> Woo! Amen? Sige po, makakupo na po tayo. Do you feel it? The atmosphere is more different now. Amen? When God's love is present, the enemy goes home. <laughs> Why? Because the enemy can stand the presence of God and the presence of love and the presence of unity. Amen? Amen? Dapat yun na po ay paglaban natin. Araw-araw. Hallelujah. Amen? So all, to all those who have your Bibles with you, let us read the Word of God together, mga kapatid. Amen? Sige po. Buksan niyo po ang ating Bible. Uh, ushers, can you assist them? Meron na po ba silang uh, proper lighting? Parang dito sa bandang ito, medyo madilim. Para mapagbasa po sila ng Bible natin. Alright. Okay po. Nakikita niyo naman po siguro, no? Lord, thank you, word, Lord, for your word for us. Bless your word in Jesus' name. Amen. So, we're opening our Bible in Luke 24, 1 to 12. Amen? Luke 24, verses 1 to 12. Sige po, kintayan muna tayo. And I know it takes time to find it. Ang ating talata po ay nasa Luke 24, 1 to 12. Thank you, Lord. Spirit of the living God, thank you for your word for us this morning. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Amen. So, let's all read it together. So, Luke 24, verses 1 to 12. On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the woman took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living? Among the dead. Whew, grabe, no? He is not here. He has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still with you in Galilee 
The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified on the third day and be raised again. Then they remembered His words. When they came back from the tomb, they told all these things to the eleven and to all others. So it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the others with them who told this to the apostles. But they did not believe the women because their words seemed to them like nonsense. Peter, however, got up and ran to the tomb, bending over. He saw the strips of linen lining by themselves, and he went away, wondering to himself what had happened. Lord, thank you for your word. Bless your word in Jesus' name. Amen. So, so umagang ito, Napaganda po, no? Kung, kung nakita nyo po sa ating binasa, mababasa nyo po doon nung kwinento po nila Mary Magdalene. Amen? And her company with Joanna and Mary, the mother of James. Ang nakakasyak po dito sa story na ito. People, the, the disciples and all those believers that Jesus ministered before his crucifixion, you know, they were shocked for everything that had happened. Nabigla sila. Nabigla sila na namatay si Jesus at nagluluksa. Amen? Going three days in after his death. Ang nakakapagtaka po dito eh, bakit sila nasusurpresa at bakit sila nagluluksa kung hinanda naman sila ni Jesus? Amen? Jesus informed them and prepared them that He is to be, he is supposed to die and in three days He will rise again. Amen? Okay lang sana kung mabigla ka na bigla ang mamatay isang tao. Amen? Strong in their prime without even saying goodbye or unprepared. But that is not the case in Jesus. Jesus informed or instructed them that these things should happen. And yet for a lot of people, my dear brothers and sisters, just like that, when the good news is reported, news that is not surprising, that it should be expected, is nonsense for a lot of people. Marimo, mga apostle to, mga mismong disciplo ni Jesus, na inihanda niya. Amen? Yung 5,000 na pinagkain ni Jesus, hindi niya kasama sa Last Supper. Itong dosing ito, sila ang may pribileyo, ay sorry, minus one na pala. Eleven na ito, sila ang may pribileyo na makasama si Jesus, mabigyan ng last instruction ni Jesus, para sa kanila, ang good news ay nonsense pa. Amen? Anyway, why am I telling this, my brothers and sisters? Because when my dad, Bishop Frank, is now in Santiago po, mamaya pong 8.30 a.m., ay magpipreach po siya sa isang anibersaryo po sa Santiago. And when my dad told me that he will be going there, and he, will, he asked me to preach the message, you know, I asked in my heart, sabi ko, isa lang naman yung message. He is risen. And that is why, how all people preach it every year. But I question, Lord, what should be your message to me? And then, ito pong buong week habang ako po yung nagbubulay-bulay, suddenly God said to me, you know, it's easy to preach it as a message. It's easy to do it every year. Because it's traditional. It's part of religion. But did what I do in the cross make sense to you, Joshua? <laughs> Amen? Madali lang kasi yung schedule to sa kalendaryo eh. Madali lang iset sa ating alarm to eh. Amen? Buong linggo po habang ako po uh, nandito po sa Tarlac, panagdadrive po ako, makikita nyo po ang taimtim 
na tradisyon, na pagsunod sa tradisyon ng mga tao. Tao nagpupuyat sa kanilang mga pabasa. Tao talaga na nandun sa init na binibigay nila. Ewan ko kung ayoko naman silang usguan. Pero para sa akin, it's an effort. Amen? Na talagang pinapahirapan ng sarili para i-honor o sundan ang yapak ni Kristo. But I ask myself, Amen? I ask myself, what is the personal impact of this powerful verse to us? Amen? What is the, pro- what is the personal impact of this powerful verse to us? Because if, if I just hear it from the pulpit, every Easter, every time that people read it, mga kapatid, if we read it as a story, it's just a story. Amen? But was it supposed to be just a story? Was it supposed to be something that we just commemorate every year? Amen? Kaya nga tumurok sa akin puso nung ginagawa ko po itong message na to, it's not about what I will tell the TFBC family. It is a personal question to me. What that was, what does this episode in Jesus' life actually means to me personally. Amen? Anong impact nito sa akin bilang tao? Kasi madali lang sabi, madali lang i-preach to sa iba, pero kung hindi tumatama sa akin to, isa lang tong storya na wala naman talagang kwenta. Amen? It also means that everything we do every Easter is just traditional, it's just symbolic. But it Mga kapatid, ang tanong ko sa sarili ko, Lord, should we just, should it o- only be a calendar in our life? Or should it mean something? It, should it make sense into my life? Amen? Kaya nga, yun po ang tanong ko, how does the life of Jesus, I did not wrote it as a story. I, I, I should have wrote it like, how does the story of Jesus, no, for me, it's not a story. It's a life. And Jesus' life is a living life. Amen? That's why I wrote here in my personal devotion, how does the life of Jesus impact my personal life? Amen? Reading how He gave His life. Amen? He was born. He, he purposely put His life here in this earth. In a very damp cave in Bethlehem, he was born. I saw that, mga kapatid. It was not a shed. It was not just parang kubo na nakikita po natin pag belinismo. Isa po siyang kweba na basa, malamig. Pero binigay niya ang buhay niya para sa mundong ito, para ipanganak. Amen? And he actually served his life in, his, in the ministry, walking and ministering to people, showing the way of love. Amen? And when, it is, when it, it's time for him to exemplify love, amen, even when he is denied, even when he is abandoned, amen, he walked the path of the Via Della Rosa all the way to the cross alone. Amen? Mga kapatid, tayo nga lang eh. Sa buhay natin, kapag may naka-offend na sa atin, susukuan na natin yung mission ng pag-ibig eh. But Jesus showed the true mark of living that even if you are denied or abandoned or forsaken, you do not the abandon the mission of God which is walking the path of love. Even though it's painful and hard, He exemplified it. Amen? And that is what we celebrate. So, mga kapatid, this is what I've learned personally. And I share it to you. Amen? I can only share what it impacted in my life as a person. And I hope it impacts your life too. As the same way, amen, we pray that the, that, that the life of Jesus may make sense to all of us. Amen? Bago po ang patuloy, nangita ko po si Nanay Erna na nandito ngayong umagang ito. 
Magandang umaga po, Nanay Erna. Grabe po ang effort. <laughs> Amen. Good morning. We love you. Celebrate your life. <laughs> Amen. So, first, ang una pong impact po ng kwento ni Jesus sa aking buhay is in His resurrection, I learned the message of hope. Amen? Hope for all of us. Para sa iba, ang salitang pag-asa ay maliit na bagay. Amen? Para sa mga komportable, para sa mga taong wala namang masyadong struggle sa buhay, ang pag-asa, medyo maliit na salita eh. Pero kapag nasa Ukraine ka sa mga panahon na to, kung nasa China ka sa mga panahon na to, kung nasa Sri Lanka ka sa mga panahon na to, that their government declared bankruptcy, I think the scenario will be different. Amen? I was reading the world news. Sabi ko, Lord, how can we complain that gas prices are high when other nations don't have even bread to eat? Sabi ko, nawawalan kami ng pag-asa. Samantalang, sa my story ko, lahat ng mga tao nasa beach. Sabi ko, parang <laughs> iba yata yung, <laughs> di ba? Sabi ko nga po noong Sabado, Lord, parang ako lang hindi nabasa ngayong araw na to ah. <laughs> Amen? And for me, I'm, I didn't envy or hindi man ako nagselos o no, sa mga tao na nasa beach. Actually, I rejoice with them. Amen? Actually, seeing the Filipino enjoying their weekend, it's a sign that things and God is good in this country. Amen? Nag-enjoy po ba kayo? Hallelujah. That's good. Amen? Family is beautiful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pero yun nga po eh. Di ba? Hope for a lot of people has a different meaning. And for me, the story of Jesus is a message of hope for me personally, especially in my own journey, in my personal life. Amen? Hope na sa, 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 sa resurrection ni Jesus, His resurrection is not only His resurrection, but it is also our resurrection too. Hallelujah? Amen? Naiintindihan niyo po ba? Na ang, ang pagkabuhay muli ni Jesus ay hindi lang para sa Kanya, kundi para sa atin lahat. Amen? At doon pa lang makakahanap po tayo ng pag-asa. Amen? Pag-asa para sa ating pamilya. Amen? I know that, the, you know, I have a lot of friends who live in broken families. I have a lot of friends who are struggling as a single mom or a single dad. Amen? That's why I feel, mga kabatid, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, that this message of Jesus would be a message of hope. Amen? They would not look at it as just a story, but i, mga kaigib ka ng pag-asa mula sa story ng ito. Amen? That there is no such thing with Jesus. There is no such thing as a hopeless situation. Amen? Uh, kaya nga po, kung papansinin niyo po, ang sabi po niya sa 1 Corinthians 15 verse 22, For as in Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive. Amen? Amen? Jesus' resurrection is also your, the resurrection of your life. Amen? In your old life, you were dead. But the power of Jesus' resurrection also strikes your life. Amen? If you are in a life of poverty, Jesus pierces the spirit of poverty and there will be resurrection in your family, resurrection in your business, resurrection in you personally, my dear brothers and sisters. Amen? Huwag kayong pumayag na lalabas kayo at bukas patay pa rin ang buhay nyo. Amen? Patapos po ng ating church service, lalabas po tayo na buhay ang buhay natin. Amen? If you're struggling as a Christian and you feel that for so long you have been a Christian, but it seems that I'm empty and my, my Christian life is dead, 
My dear brothers and sisters, the impact of Jesus' life, we should learn from it. Hallelujah. Amen. Kaya nga hope that in Jesus, there is no such thing as a hopeless situation. Do you understand this? Amen. He was born to give hope. Amen. And before he died, even when it seems that all hope is lost, kaya po lang takbuhan in all direction ang mga disciplo, but for them it is the end. But they didn't understand the power of Jesus. The end is only the beginning. <laughs> Amen? In Gethsemane, they thought the story is about to get worse. But for Jesus, the denial, the betrayal, the abandonment doesn't mean it will lead to a bad story. For Jesus, it might be painful. He was pierced for our transgressions. Amen. He faced the trial alone. But for Him, things that may, that may go bad is actually just a beginning of a most beautiful story that has been ever told. Amen? Amen? It may be bad news for most, but what Jesus was working was something beautiful. It might be hopeless for most, but it's just the beginning of hope. May pagasa, Amen? Wag po natin tutuldukan ng ating pamilya. Because for us, it might be hopeless. But in Jesus, there's always hope. Amen? Wag mong tutuldukan ang yung buhay. Amen? If you are battling depression and stress, it may be hopeless for you. And the devil want you to feel hopeless. But for Jesus, there's always hope. Amen? Amen? <laughs> Tumatawa nga ang demonyo nung namatay siya eh. When he said, it is finished, the devil thought Jesus was finished. But what he didn't know, it is finished means you're finished. <laughs> It didn't, it didn't mean Jesus was finished. It means the devil was finished. Amen? The devil's work is finished. And Jesus' power is just beginning. Amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Grabe po daw. Kaya nga po, mababasa po natin sa Matthew 19, 25 to 26, that when the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished. They were discussing the parable of the rich man. Amen? And then, when Jesus explained this parable, they were greatly astonished. Then they asked, who can be saved? Amen? Jesus looked at them and said, with man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Amen? Amen? Tandaan niyo po, with God. Amen? Sometimes we say in our lives, maybe salvation is not for me. Amen? Maybe si Pastor Josh lang, bakit parang siya lang nakaka-experience ng salvation. Amen? Sometimes we envy the life of others. Maybe Pastor Dan is the only one that is blessed and anointed. And I always tell people, when he died on the cross, there was no favoritism, kapatid. Nung namatay siya sa krus, walang bias para kay Jesus. When he died for, for the, in the cross, he died for all. And I always say people to, to people, the same anointing that runs in us also runs in you. Amen? The same love that, and the same blessing that Jesus is pouring down on me, He's also pouring down on you. Amen? Walang favoritism kay Lord. Kaya nga, mga kapatid, minsan nilalagay ng demonyo yung selos para mawalang ka ng pag-asa. Pero mga kapatid, tulad ng tinanong ng mga disiplo, who can be saved? 
Amen? Ang sinabi ni ng Diyos, para sa iba ay imposible at wala ng pag-asa. Pero sa Diyos, lahat ay posible at sa lahat ay may pag-asa. Doon tayo kay Kristo. Amen? May pag-asa kay Kristo. Hope, knowing that whatever the enemy has stolen from us, my dear brothers and sisters, whatever is destroyed, whatever part of us died for all the hardships and pain that the enemy has caused, lalong-lalo na sa last two years po natin sa pandemyang ito. Amen? There is hope, brothers and sisters. Amen? Hope in Jesus. Sabi po niya sa John 10.10, 10, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. But Jesus said, I have come that they might have life and have it even more abundantly. Amen? Pag-asa kapatid na kahit anong sinira ng demonyo sa buhay mo, kahit anong nawasak sa pamilya mo, kahit anong parte ng buhay mo ang namatay, kay Kristo magkakabuhay. Amen? Palakpahan si Lord. Amen? Hallelujah. Number two is joy. Amen? Hindi po ito panahon ng pagluluksa. Amen? Joy in knowing that Jesus is God. Amen? Joy in knowing His divinity and not celebrating His humanity. Amen? That's a very deep thing, mga kapatid. When we were in Israel, we went to the garden tomb where He was supposed to be buried. Allegedly buried. Eh mga kapapansin, mga kapapansin nyo po, marami pong groups na nagtutur po doon sa lugar na yun, doon sa garden tomb. And the spirit is like a spirit of mourning. And nung, nung po ipila po kami para sumilip po doon sa garden tomb, bago po makapasok, mahaba pong pila, maraming turista eh. And when it's our time, medyo nakap- nakapila po kami, may, nung palapit na palapit na po doon sa pintuan, kung saan po siya nilibing, medyo naiyak na po ako eh. Matayim-tim eh. And then, makikita niyo may iba, may mga pila na nasa, loob, nasa harap namin, talagang palapit sila ng palapit sa pinto, eh, pagapang na pagapang na paloob. Crying and mourning and kissing the floor. And then suddenly, papunta na rin ako sa spirit ng pagluluksa. Eh. Sabay tumabi sa akin yung aming teacher, tapos siniko niya ako. You know, what's beautiful about this cave is not because he's buried here. Sabi niya, What you will find, Joshua, sabi niya ganyan, is you travel all the way here from the Philippines just to learn that he is not here. <laughs> he is risen. Ala. Why do you need to cry? Ala? Why do these people in all their religiosity wipe the floor, kiss the tomb? Sabi niya, the story is not him dying. The story is him living. It doesn't matter where he's buried, sabi niya. He may be buried in this tomb or in other tombs or in there, in the church of the Holy Sepulchre. Well, it doesn't matter where he was buried because he's not there. <laughs> he's risen. Sabi niya. Amen. Kaya yung spirit na pagluluksa, sabi mo ngayon, spirit of mourning. Shoo. <laughs> that's why what we learn, mga kapatid, that's why when I went into the tomb, I didn't went into the tomb now. When my teacher said that, I went to the tomb with joy. Amen. Actually, I was not pray, there to pray because of his death. It turned into gladness. Amen. Bakit sinabi kong joy, di happiness? Mga kapatid, yung happiness, it's for a while. Pero ang sinabi ni Lord, ni Lord yung joy, ang gusto niya para sa atin. Amen? Alam niyo bakit? Kasi mas effective maglinis ang joy. <laughs> Dead, joke lang. Mga kapatid, amen? 
mas maganda sa puso natin ang joy. Dahil kapag meron kang joy, ikay tiyak na mag enjoy dito sa buhay ito. Amen? Amen? There is the power of the resurrection of Jesus. It will bring you joy. Amen? As sabi po niya dito sa John 15, 11 to 13, I have told you this. Amen? When he was informing the disciples, it might look parang sad. Parang kang namamaalam, Lord. Pero sabi niya, I have told you these things so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. Ayaw ni Lord na half joy ka lang. Amen? Kung order ka sa Jollibee ng two-piece chicken, biligyan ka niya kalahating chicken lang, your joy is not complete. Amen? Ang gusto ng Diyos, hindi ka lang partly masaya. Ang gusto niya, kompleto ang saya mo. Amen? Kompleto ang pamilya. Kompleta ang suya ng pamilya. Nagtatrabaho ka, hindi ka half-hearted, pero buo ka, kapatid. Amen? Dahil ang gusto ng Diyos ay kristyanong buo. Kristyanong punong-puno ng joy. Kahit mahirap ang buhay, Pastor Diyos, oh! Yun ang utos sa atin ng Diyos eh. Ang sabi niya, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, if you're experiencing trials of many kinds. Amen? Kung nahihirapan ang mundo, ikaw hindi. Amen? Amen? Kung nahihirapan ang mundo, Sabi mo, ikaw, ikaw, ikaw nag enjoy ka. Consider it pure joy, sabi ni Lord. Amen? Ibang attitude kasi yun. Bakit gusto ni, ng Diyos para sa atin yun? Iba kasi yung ugali yun eh. Amen? Sa tingin nyo ba, nagsisisi ba si Jesus nung pinaparusahan siya? When He is being whipped for you, it was your position. Amen? When He was carrying the cross for you, sa tingin mo ba, He was doing it with a struggle, struggle with you in your mind? Binubuhat ba niya yung cross? Walang niya ka, Joshua, dapat sa'yo to. Yun ba yung nasa isip niya? Sa'yo dapat to eh. Amen? May paninisi ba? Meron bang? Hindi. For me, what I've learned is even when he is hurting, he was enjoying it. Why? The joy that is in his heart is not the pain. It is because he's doing it for you. Amen? It might look hard. It's hard. It's struggling. But I consider it pure joy because I consider my life not worth me. I consider this joy that I'm about to die for the one that I love. Amen. Hindi man para sa atin, hindi man natin masukat talaga. Hindi mo talaga kayang sukatin. Hindi mo masusukat. Amen. But knowing this, learning this, sabi ko, Lord, it was mine. It was my burden to carry. You should not take my place. I could. But you don't understand. We must understand that the story of the Bible is a story of love. That in the beginning, before there was no time, there was nothing else. He thought of you out of love. That's why in the first words of Jesus, before He mentioned, Bereshit bara Elohim. Amen? Before there was ever a beginning, He thought of you. The same mindset of Jesus creating the word before any word was in. Amen? That is the same mindset that He has on the cross. Amen? The same power that He released when He said, let there be light. It is also the same power He, le- he released when He said, it is finished. Amen? Am I... Alam nyo, magandang uh, may dadagdag ko dito. The first blood that even struck the world because of sin was Cain's blood. Was Abel's blood pala. Amen? Alam nyo, maganda. Sabi niya, theoretically, sabi na aming teacher, 
Si Rabbi Yosef, sabi niya, you know, on the same spot that blood was spilled because of sin was the same spot where blood also dripped for your salvation. It was also in the cross where Jesus died. The same spot where sin first started was also the same spot where His blood dripped. So the blood that stained the world for sin was also the same place where Jesus cleansed it again. Hallelujah. Amen? Umiyak ako, no? Ang narinig ko yun. Grabe yun. Sabi ko, mga kapatid, Amen? I told you, sabi niya, my command is this, love each other as I have loved you. And greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friend. Amen. Mga kapatid, in knowing it, we was, he has joy knowing it was hard and painful, yet he did it with joy for us because of love. Mga kapatid, kung papansinin nyo rin, sa Matthew 28 verse 8, the women hurried away from the tomb afraid Afraid. When they learned that Jesus has risen, they were afraid. Pero kung papansinin mo, mamabasa mo rin, sabi niya, yet filled with joy. Amen? They ran to tell. Mga kapatid, yes, there are times that we will be scared or afraid because of the news of what is happening all around us. This election season, in all seasons, Darating ang bagyo season, season come, and seasons end. Amen? But, because of news of what's happening all around us, but we will find joy in Jesus Christ. Number three, and lastly, confidence. Confidence. And you know, I should have wrote their faith, pero, what is faith? Faith is confidence. Amen? Sabi yan, confidence we find in the life of Jesus in His resurrection, confidence, knowing the testimony of Jesus, triumph over death, gives us confidence in our faith as Christians that we can also triumph over the battles that we face every day. Amen? Amen? May digmaan ka bang inaharap, kapatid? You will find confidence that if Jesus can triumph over death, you can triumph over life. Amen? My dear brothers and sisters, in 2 Corinthians 3, 4-5, such confidence we have through Christ before God, not that we are competent in ourselves to claim anything for ourselves, but our competence comes from God. And then sa Hebrews 11 verse 1, sabi niya po, now faith is confidence. Sabi mo, faith, faith is confidence. Amen? Faith is not excuse for cowardice or or fear. Faith is confidence. Faith, na kahit na ano pa, variant ang darating, may confidence ka, basta kasama mo si Lord. Amen? Confidence sa kahit ano man, higante ang aharap sa'yo, dahil kasama mo si Lord, you have confidence that God is with you who can be against you. Amen? And then, mga kapatid, sabi po dito, confidence gives us boldness and courage to live a full life as followers of Christ. A full life. Amen? Confidence to face the challenges of today and tomorrow. Amen? Now, my brothers and sisters, ang sabi po niya dito, sa, sa Luke 24, 40, 46 and 49, I will end it with this verse. As sabi po niya dito, He told them, this is what is written, 
the Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead. And on the third day, and on the third day, and repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in His name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And I am going to send you what my Father has promised. But stay in this city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Amen. This is one of my favorite verses. Why? Because of the last sentence na nakasulat eh. Whatever you were clothed with because of sin, because of Jesus, it was destroyed. And He's clothing you with something new. For the new creation that He has planned for you. Amen? Whatever you are before, mga kapatid, whatever the old self that was rendered powerless because of sin, now because of our knowledge of the life, of the death, of the resurrection, what Jesus' life brings to us is power. We find confidence and with that, mga kapatid, I want to inform you, you are not a powerless person. Amen? Because of Jesus, you have authority. You are given authority. And you are not just a person. You are clothed with power from on high. Amen? Amen? Ang dami kang magagawa, kapatid. Maayos ang pamilya mo. Maayos ang buhay mo. Maayos ang sitwasyon mo. Hindi dahil sa, sitwa- sa sarili mo. Pero dahil kay Yesu Kristo at sa kapangyarihan na binibigay ng buhay niya sa buhay mo. Amen? Hallelujah! Amen? Confidence, mga kapatid. We have confidence that Jesus' life has touched our life. Amen? Let's all pray. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the story, the beautiful story of your life. And it's not just a story. Your life, it's living till this day. And thank you, Lord, that the message of your life brings message and power to our life. And we thank you, Lord, for, for what you have done and what you are doing and, ye- and what you will do tomorrow, Lord. Because you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, that we bind and cast away any spirit that rendered us powerless in the name of Jesus. Amen. We declare what you have said in your word. That if the Son sets us free, we are free indeed. And we attain that freedom, O God. On a hill, 2,000 years ago, when you said, it is finished. When you tore the veil and you made a way where there seems to be no way. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your wonder, wondrous deeds, O God. And knowing this, Lord, we shall face this day. We shall face tomorrow with hope, with joy, with confidence in you. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, hallelujah, amen and amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Shalom, shalom, shalom.